Hell yeah, you want to learn how to win GPPs, and I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. All right. Big shout out to DraftShot. I got this strategy from watching A-Rash's video, and I'm like, yeah, it makes so much sense. So this is what you need to do. Let's just get straight into the point. Stop playing those Sunday to Mondays. Stop playing the Sunday only. Stop playing um, Thursday to Monday. Instead, play these, all right? You only want to play 1 p.m., 4 p.m. only, the express Sunday, Monday night, and the Monday, Thursday night. The reason why is you want why you want to do that is so you have a smaller player selection pool to choose from. And what that does is it actually is in your favor to choose the right players. And it makes it easier for you to do the research too. And uh, there's going to be a lot of ties on that, but then I'd rather tie to win $500 than to not win anything. Anyhow, the strategy works like this. You choose a GPP, and you have to throw more than, I would say, more than 10 lines. Minimum is 10 lines, all right? You choose 10 lines and you make from, and they all should be different. None of them should be the same unless you feel really, uh, you feel really good and you can go all in with one line but that actually defeats the purpose of this strategy but you make 10 different lines right you see i made 10 different lines here one of them got really close to hitting it but one of them did hit a pretty nice amount this one hit 40 dollars and this one hit 20 dollars this is the week when Derek Carr went off and i won an extra 50 dollars it happened again i tried it again i tried it again with just only five lines this time and i hit it again i won an extra 20 dollars so it's working. It's working. All you have to do is choose these small games and then, you know, you make a bunch of lines. Making a bunch of lines allows you to actually get really close to what it uh what the top to the top lineups are. It's, it makes sense, right? It's in your favor. It, it's there's less players to choose from and the the odds of you choosing the right players actually becomes higher, especially when you make an additional lineup and an additional lineup and an additional lineup that's different. So that's the strategy. I hope you guys like it. Good luck to you guys. Uh, I'm doing it again. As you see, I'm going crazy. I gotta, uh, I gotta take a look at it. Though. I'm going too heavy with Mike Evans. <laughs> but good luck with you guys. Hopefully, the strategy helps you guys out. It works out for all DFS strategies, on all DFS platforms. I apologize. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. If you guys thought it was uh, incredible content, let me know. And give me down in the comment section below if you guys know something else that I don't know that could help everyone else out. So, thanks again. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys. Good luck, guys.